Welcome to the story about the pierogi house. This is more than just a story about delicious pierogies. This is a story about how we're able to creatively buy a house using pierogies, plus some creativity and time, which actually was able to turn into profit. We we're able to make a fair bit of money just by using our creativity, time, and a bag of pierogies. So this pierogi house story was actually the cover story of the Canadian Real Estate Wealth Magazine in September slash October of 2019. It's a creative rent to own real estate strategy to create wealth with very little resources and very little risk. This deal is repeatable and you can do it too. So the sellers came to us because they were tired landlords. They had owned the house for over 10 years, free and clear with no mortgage. They wanted the house sold, but they had, they knew that they could wait a few years for it to happen. So this flexibility is what allowed our rent to own solution to work for them. So we met them on Christmas Eve and uh, agreed to start paying them some rent as of January so that they would no longer have an empty house just sitting there uh, generating nothing for them. Yes, that's true. We gave them a bag of pierogies as a deposit. These were very delicious pierogies. Now we agreed to a price on their home and we agreed to pay them rent every single month and they gave us up to four years to be able to get the property sold. So we didn't actually have to buy this house, but we're able to control it with our contracts and our bag of pierogies. So after we end up getting the property under contract, we needed to market it to find some tenant buyers. That's someone who's gonna rent it off us for a higher price and buy it off us for a higher price than we agreed to with the original sellers. So we used a combination of websites, social media, physical signage like the one you see in the picture, and we do presentations. After, after we have a long list of potential buyers, we screen them to figure out who's gonna be the best potential buyer. So the better their credit and the more money they have up front, that makes them a better buyer. So we just select the best person out of everyone who applies. Um, we also use an independent credit specialist who's familiar with what we're doing to sell the home and we get a second opinion on how long it's gonna take our tenant buyers to complete the sale. This helps determine how long it's gonna take and how long we should make our contracts for with our buyer. We add six more months to that because sometimes things in life happen and that gives the person a fair chance to be able to own the home. So now I wanna share with you what delicious pierogies are really worth. So this home, had a BC tax assessed value of $510,000 and a retail price on it would have been about $550,000. That's like if a realtor was putting their sign in the yard, uh, if a regular homeowner were to sell it at 550, they would have to take some discounts, take some realtor fees out of it. Um, and then it would arrive at the, the final amount that the seller would receive. But the price that a realtor or somebody who's gonna retail sell it for would be about 550. So we agreed to have a future sale price with these sellers of $480,000, um, which is not a lot different than if they had to sell it the normal way, um, take discounts into account, take realtor commissions into account, and take the, uh, the months where the house is empty and not being rented. So it's unlikely that it would sell in January. It'd probably take until the spring or summer. And so in order for them to have a solution right away, they agreed to 480. Well, when we found our tenant buyer, we were able to sell this house for $609,000. That's because they agreed that 550 was a fair price to start at, as well as the 609 price would be a fair price in the future. Show me the money. So in order to set this up, it really cost us close to $20,000 worth of rent and marketing, as well as legal fees to the lawyer to keep it legal. We had to pay a referral fee to be able to get this property. So all those went into the setup, but we were able to recover all the setup money immediately after finding our tenant buyer. They gave us $20,000 for the right to rent to own the house from us. So we also have some profits in here, which are the sales differences 
and we have to credit the tenant buyer's uh, deposit back to them out of that price. So it leaves us with $109,000 sales difference. We also have, are making $500 a month off each month that the rent is paid for the next three years. So that turns into $18,000, creating a whopping $127,000 of profit in only three short years. Yay. <laughs> now, not every seller is gonna want pierogies. So keep in mind our formula of pierogies plus creativity plus time equals money. Well, what we can do is we can replace those pierogies by giving people a little bit of upfront money. So in the formula, you can basically replace pierogies with smaller amounts of money. That money that it replaces pierogies is usually used by the sellers to help them move out of the home. Um, it's also, we call it moving on money. What do they need to be able to move on to the next stage in their life? As well as it could be money for their next down payment on their next home if they're able to qualify for another mortgage and they can leave the one on the home they're trying to sell in place for a couple of years then this is a good solution. They don't need the home sold right away. They just need enough money for their next down payment. Now the money given up front is credited towards our purchase price. So that ends up coming, you know, if we had given this to these sellers and if we'd given them say $10,000 of move out money, then our price would be 470 instead of 480. So we get all of that money that we give them up front comes right back to us at the time of sale. Typically we're giving, giving sellers between about $1,000 to as much as $70,000, although it's more likely to do deals in the $10,000 and $20,000 range for the right type of deal. And if you're getting the right type of sale price, it could be worth giving a little bit more money up front. But in this case, our sellers were happy with progies, so that's what we, what we did. Some people are saying that this is not a very repeatable deal because I shared this story with a few other people and everyone thought it was really creative, but they challenged me as to whether or not I could repeat this deal. And so I decided I would accept the challenge and I was able to do the exact same deal on another property shortly after where I used a toonie in place of pierogies. So very, very little dollars to be able to get in, very creative strategy. So if you're interested in learning more about how you can do creative real estate deals how you can use rent own for your advantage to create a passive income and start living the life that you want to live. Uh, if you're looking for a strategy to be able to sell a property for more that you might already own, rent to own could be for you. So you can pick up the rent to own course at my website. It's www.johnsimco.com and you'll see it there under the best selling rent to own win, win, win outcomes. So go ahead and pick that course up. I know it will change your life as it has mine.